now the question is identify the stage of eruption and the stages of the uh, eruption are given here so uh, first of all i must tell you uh, when we talk about the eruption uh, there are two things which are there one is your passive eruption and another is your recession okay so uh, when we talk about the passive eruption in passive eruption what generally happen uh, that is considered to be a normal by a lot of scientists although there are always arguments about that but that is considered as normal eruption and that is considered more or less physiological process okay it's a physiologic process when it comes to the recession recession is generally considered pathologic although still some uh, people argue about it uh, some say that it can also be normal but it is of course uh, for now we can consider it pathologic form of uh, eruption basically okay so these are the two things which we have to remember and the second thing which we have to remember here is the passive eruption is seen in stage 1 and stage 2 while the recession is generally seen at stage 3 and stage 4 okay now we have to remember three landmarks while trying to identify the stage so the first landmark which we have to remember is the bottom of gingival sulcus the second is the end of attachment epithelium or the apical end of the attachment epithelium and then we have to remember the cemento enamel junction so by knowing the position of the bottom of the gingival sulcus and end of the uh, apical end of the uh, attached epithelium we can uh, relative to the cemento enamel junction we can try and give the staging to the eruption okay so i'll just uh, yeah now these are the four images in which the four stages are depicted so this is the stage one now here in the stage one we can uh, see this is your cej cemento enamel junction this is the apical part of attachment epithelium and this is your bottom of gingival sulcus bottom of gingival sulcus now here if you see that the apical part of the attached epithelium is at cej and the bottom of the sulcus is on enamel then this is stage 1 now how is stage 1 is different from stage 2 it is that in this the bottom will be seen on the enamel only the bottom of the gingival sulcus will be seen on the enamel only but the apical end of the attached epithelium has receded down to the cementum and it has come to the apical area or the cementum or means it has receded basically okay it has receded down from the cej okay so still you will be able to see the clinical crown enamel only in the mouth but still this is uh, stage second because the attachment the apical part of the attachment epithelium has come below apical to the cej so this is the basic difference between these two and this stage one and stage two is considered to be under the passive eruption okay and it can be considered as physiologic and it can be considered an, as an uh, attempt of the teeth to adapt to the dent dental gingival balances okay now comes your stage 3 now in the stage 3 you can appreciate that uh, the bottom of the sulcus is at bottom is at cej and your apical end of the attached epithelium has come down much downer than the cej now still you will be able to see the enamel okay but it is a pathological process and it is generally considered as recession so stage 3 is no is basically a recession process okay it is considered as recession now going to the fourth one here in the fourth image the stage four you will be able to appreciate even the bottom of the sulcus as well as the apical end of the attached epithelium is apical to the cej and here whatever you see in the oral cavity will be this big okay so it is the case in the stage four when the clinical crown is larger than the anatomic crown okay so what is anatomic crown Anat uh, this will be the anatomic crown okay and clinical crown will be everything which is seen in the oral cavity so in the stage 4 only you will have 
द क्लिनिकल क्राउन विल बी मोर और लार्जर देन द एनाटॉमिक क्राउन वाइल इन केस ऑफ स्टेज वन एंड टू यू कैन इजिली सी दैट द कंप्लीट इनेमल इज नॉट एक्सपोज हेयर सो हेयर द क्लिनिकल क्राउन इज शोर्टर देन द एनाटॉमिक क्राउन सो दीज आर द वेरियस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी फ्रेम ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट now we have to identify the stage of eruption here so you can see this is your cj okay and the bottom of the gingival sulcus is apical to the cj even the end of the attachment of the epithelium is going to be apical to the cj that's why this is the case of recession this is considered to be pathologic and it is going to be your stage 4 so answer to this question is stage 4